at BethJones.net and welcome to Writing on Wednesdays where I give you practical tips for speaking and writing. And today is about the three P's. What is stopping you from success in your life and in your business? I apologize for the late hour today. I was just on a FaceTime with a call, um, a call with a friend that I hadn't talked to in quite a while, so we wanted to catch up. So that's why I'm running late today. But I try to do these Writing on Wednesdays Facebook Live videos on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Central Time. So today I want to address the three P's that may be stopping you from success in your life and business. And they are procrastination, perfectionism, and pitfalls. And I'll get into each of those in just a minute. But first, I wanted to define success for you. And the first one is from Oxford Languages Dictionary Online. And it says, success is the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. And Merriam-Webster says it's a favorable or desired outcome. Zig Ziglar said that success can, can't be defined in just one sentence, but it's comprised of many things in your life. And I believe that too. Success is different for every person. So what one person might consider success may be different from another. And I believe God also views success differently from us. Now, a few of life hacks definitions are number one, and they gave 19, but I'm just gonna give five today. One is always doing your best. Number two is setting concrete goals, not abstract ones. Three is knowing your life is filled with abundance. And I love this. In other words, counting your blessings, your the love relationships you have in your life, your health, your family, all those daily blessings that God gives you. Number four is being able to overcome fear. And number five is learning something new every day. All of those are success. They equal success. So they gave 19 definitions total, and that is at lifehack.org. But one of the ones of these three P's is procrastination. Now, I don't personally struggle with procrastination a lot. I know other family members that do, um, and procrastination can really hold you back from achieving your goals. I am, however, a recovering perfectionist, as my friend Shelly Vallisett has said about herself. Perfectionism, it looks more proper than procrastination. Procrastination just looks lazy. And if you see me looking down, I'm, I'm looking down at my notes I have for today. So procrastination just looks lazy, but perfectionism is just as deadly as procrastination. It still puts things off until they are, quote, good enough. And there is no just good enough. There is no perfect. Only Jesus Christ is perfect. So I wear a ring, and I don't have it right now here in front of me, but it says, I am enough. Why do I wear that to remind me that through faith in Jesus Christ, I am enough. And God will help me to do what he has called me to do and to be. God will equip me, and he will equip you also. And the scripture I want to share with you today is Matthew 13, 21. This is in the ESV version, and it says, he will equip you with everything good that you may do to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So perfectionism will trip you, just like procrastination will trip you. And we have to learn to conquer it. We have to let go of perfect, and we have to hold on to him who is perfection, God, Jesus Christ. He is perfection. And the truth is that people cannot really relate to perfect. That's because nobody's perfect but Jesus. You know, you see people, they seem to have perfect hair, perfect body, perfect family. You know, you see their social media posts, perfect house, perfect whatever, the perfect car, perfect bank account. And it's an illusion. And social media actually feeds into that. So none of us are perfect. We're all flawed, we all battle with sins, and we all mess up every single day of our life. But that is why we need Jesus. So I want to encourage you today to let go of perfect. Paul Arden said, too many people spend too much time trying to perfect something before they actually do it. Instead of waiting for perfection, run with what you got and fix it along the way. And I love that. 
Run with what you got. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect as a speaker. You don't have to be perfect as a writer. I've never seen any perfect book. I, I see even books that very famous, popular authors, you know, have written, and they've got mistakes in them. So the only one that's perfect is God. So the first P was procrastination. The second was perfectionism. And the third P is pitfalls. So what do I mean by pitfalls? Things like, you know, scrolling on social media all day, or busyness, laziness, entertainment, watching TV, all your TV shows, or sports, or video or Facebook games, comparison, envy. And these are like black holes that you fall into. And you've, you've read about black holes in space where things just get sucked into it. And that's how these things can be. So we can fall into these black holes and never come back out. We never come up for air. And what they are is distractions to derail you from your calling and your purpose. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing sinful about playing a Facebook game or watching TV, watching a show on TV, scrolling on Facebook, going on Pinterest or Instagram. But what can happen is they suck up your time. They drain your time. And it, it doesn't leave you any time to do what really matters, what's very important. They can serve a purpose. They can help you to relax. They can help you to even learn new things. But they can't consume our time or we'll never get what really matters done. So all these three Ps can hinder or stop you from aiming for and achieving your dreams, your greatest dreams, and fulfilling your divine mission. I'm going to be sharing more about these three Ps on my new mini training, and it's called Conquer the Three Ps, and it is July 16th at 10 a.m. Central Time, and that's 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and there's going to be a recording replay for you if you can't make the live Zoom event. I also have some bonuses that I'm adding to this training, and it's going to be on my Member Vault teaching portal, which I call Your Portal to Success. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link below the Facebook Live video, and I'm also going to upload this to YouTube, and I'll leave it in the YouTube video description, and that way you can go directly to that link. So I'm going to be talking about these three Ps more in depth. If you struggle with procrastination, perfectionism, and other pitfalls that are holding you back from your greatest success, this training is for you. I want to encourage you to come. It is only $17, and it will include the live Zoom event, the recording replay, and also those bonuses. And it is based out of content in my book, How to Write Your Book Fast, Making Your Writing Dreams Come True. So I'm pulling the content out of that, and I'll be sharing about it on Zoom with you, and you can ask any questions, any comments, and then have that replay. So I want to also invite you to join me next Wednesday for Writing on Wednesdays right here on my Facebook business page. This is Beth Jones at BethJones.net, and I would love to have you join me for this mini training. I'm excited about doing these mini trainings each month on Zoom, and I hope to see you there. So be blessed and have a beautiful day, and I will talk to you later. This is BethJones.net.